it's a very windy extremely windy tuesday afternoon 22nd of october and we're here at the etiwillet park continuation of the national bank primary schools football championship the national bank primary schools football championship will continue here and uh, the first half of this matchup will be taken is the Ivaltas Primary coming up against the Montessori Preschool, pre Primary School, sorry. And so this, I don't think it's going to have any significant bearing on the top four. The top four have been determined already. What I think will be determined this afternoon is who wins the preseason round in terms of champion for the preseason and Ivo Alta's very much on course for that. And with a team like Montessori, they will need to make sure that they win in order to ensure themselves of that top spot. I'm telling you, it's extremely, extremely windy here at the Toilet Park. I'm wondering if there's a tropical system somewhere around. We haven't had this kind of a windy experience for the entire tournament so far. So the two teams are heading out. It's the Montessori Primary and the Ivo Walters Primary. And uh, this is the final preliminary round. There won't be any matches this coming Friday. The action will continue next week, Tuesday, with the semi-final, the grand semi-final Tomorrow, I understand that there will be a draw for the semi-finals. And of course, some people are a little bit upset about that because um, normally you have first playing four, fourth and second playing. Three. Normally you'll have first playing fourth and second playing third, but not in this case, they're gonna have a draw. And so we'll wait and see what transpires after that. string some plays together. The ball has been knocked out. So the school Friday, Sunday and Tuesday to watch the grandchildren play. Come in. A little bit of a tussle here for ball control. Now Ivor Walters defending stoutly. Battle of the Easterns. And uh, Montessori trying to hold their own here. The little man goes down. And it's going to be a kick in favor of the Montessori. The captain of the team, number 10, is going to take the kick. That's not the best of kicks, but um, well defended there by Ivaltas, trying to go forward now. Moving along nicely, pushes it off him, and uh, very quickly the goalkeeper grabs onto it. And it seems as if it's going to be a corner kick. So, goalkeeper took it over the line. There's a kick. Not the best of corner kicks either. But Ivo Walters getting the touch. Montessori trying to go forward here. Still Montessori. And well stopped by Ivo Walters. Ivo Walters driving. Stopped again by Montessori. So, Ivo Walters finding it a little difficult for the moment to run through the Montessori defense. Now he's trying to hook his way through. He drives. Um, still in a possible, well, knocked away. But this time he is a, oh my, that's as close as he'll get. And the goalkeeper finally grabs onto it. I thought that Ivo Walters had a chance there, serious chance on more than one occasion. And just didn't finish. Not the best of goal kicks. I have Walters controlling, but knocking it over the line. So it's going to be a throw in for the Montessori team. So 
So, I have Walters at the top of the point standings. They'll want to win this game. And I think that would secure definitely. But going forward now, handball as well after the flag was raised. As the players were rushing forward there. Keen to score. They want to dominate. They want to show why they are at the top of the table. But um, I've worked, uh, Montessori in recent times has been trained by Leroy Junjun Sweeney. And I think they're showing a little bit more skill at this point. Driving forward now. Knocks it with the knee. Can the player run forward here? The defender is calling for his goalkeeper to come out. And uh, so he does. Can't keep it in. Busy number seven. He directs the traffic here. Takes all the kicks. Takes most of the throws as well. So, defending again. But here's uh, Montessori going forward. And uh, the danger cleared for the moment by the Ivy Walters team. And I find that Ivor Walters struggling a little bit to run through Montezori because I think that would have been the aim of Coach Harvey. But for the moment, they just seem to be struggling here. Joe going forward now. Here's a possible run through. Here's a possible run through. Crosses nicely. He's frustrated because it was a good cross, but nobody there to tap it in. If you know the history between these two schools and these two teams. It's going to be throwing now. There's the throwing. Off the knee control. He drives off target. So it's going to be a goal kick now. There's the goal kick. Not the best of kicks either. Running forward. Here's a chance, I believe. Let's see what's happening here now. He knocks it. That's brilliantly done. Hit it hard. Very well done on that occasion. That's goal number one for Ivor Walters. Really hit it hard. Goal kick now for Montessori. The ball refusing to stay because the wind is really doing a number here this afternoon. It's really breezy here. Low flat kick way off course. The goalkeeper decides to keep it in play. Could have left it alone. Ivor Walters on the offensive once more. Ivor Walters on the offensive. Defending there is our Montezori. A couple of missing in action kicks there, but it's still Ivor Walters. A little bit of push in there, a lot of push in there. And the referee awarding the ball to and um, indicating to the player, you don't do that. So it's the Montessori who will have a free kick. So here's the kick, a little flat kick. Goalkeeper comes into focus, holds on to it. Drives into it now. Ivo Walters trying to keep it in. Can't. None of these teams want to lose to each other. You know the history. Now we have a big kick going forward. Anybody home? And goes towards the side of the net. Kick here, he drives off target. One time I attempted and knocking it away from the upright. Again, not a good kick at all. Stumbling over it as he was rushing forward. I think he's okay. Ball still with Ivo Walters. Ivo Walters on the right flank. Number seven pushing forward. Number seven crosses. Anybody home? Defending there is oh, but the, well, well defended in the end by Montessori. Number nine tries a one-timer. Of course, 
And so it's still with Ivor Walters pushing forward now. Where's the defense for Montessori mm. kicking it away from the upright and out it goes. It's another corner kick for the Ivor Walters. Oh, here's a little chance here. He drives off target. Really not looking at the goal. Just driving into the ball without really looking to see where he's supposed to be heading. And going way away from the upright. Goalkeeper holds on to it and uh, more pressure here being applied and it goes in. Oh yes, one day for Ivor Walters. It goes in, that's goal number two. Goal number two for Ivor Walters as they go to the first water break. Two goals to zip. Again, going forward, Ivor Walters. And it goes in. Make that free. So that's the third goal. Three goals to nil to score. Looks as if Ivo Walters after a pretty shaky start. They would have decided that they're going to try to stamp the authority on this game. Another low flat kick towards the goalkeeper. Stopped in the process. So, Ivo Walters with the touch, Ivo Walters going forward, Ivo Walters stopped there nicely, defended by number 9 for Montessori, and uh, Ivo Walters trying to control, pass it off, but here's Montessori missing a kick, then Montessori getting a touch, a little man taken away there by Jamie, and uh, still passing off, now he has a chance, he shoots, and the goalkeeper grabs on to that one. So, three goals to nil to score. So, here goes now. Trying to go forward now. And uh, swings. That's a good attempt here. Trying to finish. And uh, the Montessori defense all around him. Now it goes on top of the crossbar. Good attempt, but landing on the crossbar. Montessori with the goal kick. That's a pretty good kick here. Going past the defense here. Here's the little man running forward for Montessori. He's under pressure at the defense. Oh, he doesn't stop it. Montessori um, forward. Now Montessori with another touch. Trying to go forward. Montessori looking busy at the top right now. But here's um, Ivo Walters taking it away now. Controlling nicely. Stop for the moment. And here's a possible chance. He's going closer. He's going closer. He drives. The goalkeeper bubbles with it. In it goes. Make that four. One. Four goals to nil. Yeah. Ivor Walters, the goalkeeper hangs on to this one. So the goalkeeper would have been tested all afternoon. Kicks it out now. I think it's about six. I've lost count, but um, here's the Ivor Walters rushing through, turning now. Here's Ivor Walters trying to get through. Montessori defense looking busy. 
Yeah, he's like Walters. Man is down, but playing, he drives. The goalkeeper goes in. Oh, my goodness. Make that seven. Seven goals to nil. Ivor Walters. It's not even half time as yet. Seven goals to nil. Well. I believe that next year, Montessori, with some more training, will be a different team to reckon with. But for this year, it has been like a fiery baptism, really. Well, let's see what happens. Drives into it, going towards the goalie. He doesn't even bother to hold it with his hands. He decides to... Oh, poor work here by... Trying to go forward is Montessori. Montessori. Oh, he was pushed there. Yeah. Definitely pushed. Referee not calling that one. So here yeah, goes now. Drives into that. Ivor Walters trying to control number four. Ivor Walters trying to shake number nine. He does. He swings now. And the ball goes out. So it's going to be. St. James is going to be a corner Daniel. kick. Here's the corner. Trying to go forward. Stop for the moment. But I'm um, still in control of Ivor Walters who drives. Anybody home? Um, well, seems as if it's going to be half time. It's seven goals to nil. Seven goals to nil at half time. So we join you with the battle of the two teams from St. James's. It's um, VOGN coming up against the St. James's primary and it's a nil-all situation at halftime. Nil -all. She was rushing across the face of the goal and had one big right kick at it and uh, missed it completely. It would have been a fantastic goal. VOJN versus St. James's. So, goal kick for St. James is under some pressure here. With um, VOJN trying to go forward. VOJN taking it away for the moment. VOJN aggressively controlling. Trying to go forward here. Defending stoutly St. James's though. St. James is defending stoutly. VOJN with the touch. St. James is back in control. St. James is being pushed away there for the moment. They're all around him there. The blue. Now it's going to be St. Um, James's defender defending stoutly and knocking it out eventually. There's a touch there by St. James's, the young lady, aggressively going forward. Here he goes. I go. Bio Jen. Oh, that's hitting. The young lady in her face, but she's okay. So these young ladies playing very aggressively, I could tell you. Showing there by St. James with a little handball. There was a little handball. And so it's gonna be a free kick for St. James's. This could be dangerous here. St. James is getting a free kick from pretty close range. From pretty close range. This could be really interesting. I'm not sure about the wall formation for VOGN either. So, this could be an interesting scenario here. Can VOGN defend this? Can St. James score? That's as poor as they get. And I think Adrian Williams is wondering what went wrong there. That's a very poor mm. kick indeed. But it was an opportunity, if you ask me. Viojen going forward. Viojen with the turn here. Viojen with the possible. One on one with the keeper. Gone Ooh. in. Oh, yes. Gone okay. in. It was I'm close. For you from nine. It no, was no. really close, I could tell you. Good, well, look at that celebration by number 10. Oh, it's a lot of style here for Viojen. Well, 
Yo, Jen, I scored. And so it's one goal to nil. And uh, it was really close range that the goalkeeper really didn't have a chance. On that occasion, there's another possible chance here, but the danger cleared by St. James's. So St. James is defending stoutly. Here's um, VOJ and again aggressively trying to go forward and being stopped for the moment. Nice defensive work there by St. James's. So VOJ, St. James is going forward now. Here's a possible chance. Can he outrun the defender? What does he do? He knocks it out. He decides to knock it out because he was being heavily challenged by number 10 and Laggy as well. The two at the top were really making inroads. And so it's going to be a throw in. The young lady's going to take it. Number one. And let's see what transpires here. Here's the throw in. And Real Gen trying to keep it out. Does. Clears the danger for the moment. Trying to go forward now. Taken away by the St. James's player. Number 10 trying to control. Laggy as well. Bubbling slightly now. Laggy still with the ball. Laggy passes away. Away from the upright. And uh, still a one goal to nil situation as we go over to Frankie. Bonded in the favor of Real Gen. Hey, good afternoon, Curtis. Good afternoon to. All who are following us. Battle of the Eastern. And uh, it is the St. James's clan. St. James's proper versus St. James's nice kick up extension. The OJ and versus the St. James's primary. And they're trying to get it back in. It's St. James's has scored already. Don't forget the bar, they got chicken wing, they got hot dogs, they got popcorn. One goal to drinks nil. In Check it out. Favour VOJN. They are on the eastern pitch and they are going towards the Charleston Secondary School end. St. James's is coming towards the pavilion end. So it's going to be a goal kick. There he goes. He just taps it there, trying to build a play from the back. Sends it across the line. The one is there. Comes off the VOJN boot. VOJN pushing forward. VOJN pushing forward. And it's put back out by number four for St. James's. And there's some. High kicks there, but no danger. And but I think the the the, the referee gonna have to warn them about those high kicks, though. It goes out. It's gonna be St James's throw in. Going to the final day of the group stages, and the weekend Friday we'll be having the semi-finals. St James is throw in. And um, the big back for Vio Jen puts it up, looks for number nine, he pushes it around and Ooh. Oh, the young lady got in there, I think she might have got a little hurt, but she came out strongly and number nine goes back to check with her to see if she's okay. But she is, is a stubborn lady, she's hardcore, she's been the best people well, she's in been area. doing good all season. Yeah. Slight she's injury. Been doing good all season, a contender for Number 15. Female goalkeeper of the season. Come on, zero going in, short man. So we place her in the goal. So it's one goal to nil, VOJN versus St. James's. It is the St. Kiss Nevis National Angola. I think it's Nevis Angola National Bank sponsors for the primary school competition. Mr. Boston is the patron and uh, close. Number 11 was too close. He should have thrown it up ahead of him. But he, again, number 11 pushes it out. Number one, the female defender for St. James's has been playing very well all season. And uh, the ball goes back up, VOJN. And St. James's defense, number nine sends it out. Number 10 is there. And James has got two men playing one another. And they need to keep the ball down. And James is coming away with it. And it's been taken by number 11, push forward. Number nine is hopping, he's limping. Still trying his endeavor best to go forward. And it's brought back down by the defense for St. James's. Then number eight. Slips in there for the VOJN, he comes back out. It's lagging number seven trying to come down with it. And number one, the young lady is, oh yes, she's trying to come forward. And it's a near ball. Who will control it? 
and James is. It's giving them trouble. Uh, the goalkeeper takes it. That's good. But the air ball, the bounce ball gives them a lot of trouble. They need to learn to take it down, bring it down flat. As it's just kind of bounce and bounce. The water break here for the St. James's Georgia end game. One goal, goalkeeper does a good job, goes over, send it with a nice left booter. Send it over here by the, the left back, um, the young lady, and number 12, 13. And it's going to be a Georgia end to throw in. She throws it in. Foul to throw. Georgia N has um, two females on the field. They had a third one, which was a custodian, but she's injured, so she has come up. The wind is pretty strong today. And it's going to be a throw in for St. James's. Bounce, bounce it down close. And St. James is winning it. And she's trying to go forward, number 11. And the number five back sends it back to St. James's. Um, it's picked out by the custodian for Bioja N. Tongaja. St. James's throws. And stuck in her foot there, number eight. For Biojain, pushes it back again. Number one for St. James is trying to get in and does not, but it comes back. Number two tries to get it in, but it just bounces away. The goalkeeper allows it to go through. And smart thinking. It's going to be a goal kick. Crowd building up nicely. See what's happening here with the keeper. The last round of the Provisional games. Here is and Giant trying to go forward. Number five. That is it around. Number five versus number five. Rio Jen. St. James is here to score and put a smile on Goji's face. But nevertheless, still back in the team. It's gonna be a throw into St. James's. Nice throw. And number eight knees it in for Bioja N. Tries to find number nine. Number nine hustling forward, but again, number five is ever present. And number one loses control of it. So it goes out for a throw in. Again, so asked to come back a few steps. So number three goes in and throws it. And the, Misses it, everybody. Then number two kicks it over. Uh, he was the man of the match the other day. It's going to be a throw in. Number three takes it. Everybody's trying to go forward. And it's a foul throw. Yeah. Number five throws it in. Trying to get to number one, but St. James is got in there. And James is and pressurizing the Rio JN and it's gonna be a throw into St. James's. Oh, they're standing up, they're standing up, they're standing up. If they need to be a little bit more alert, here's Rio JN winning back that ball, brought back down by St. James's and stopped by a Rio JN defense. Here is the young lady, number 10, trying to move forward. She stops, she goes, she stops, she goes. She's still going, number 9 gave it to her. She didn't get there. Um, number 3 sends it back up into the field. Number 10 is there. And she tried a shot from where she was, but it was a very weak one. She was not properly positioned behind the ball. It's going to be a VA, uh, St. James is throwing. Is it? Georgia and throwing. Okay. And number nine is trying to walk his way forward on the right flank. Trying to get across. Sends it across. And no one is there. It goes out. So it's one goal to nil in favor of Georgia N. And they are playing against St. James's. Uh, 
we have Ivor Walters taking on Montessori uh, St. James is against BOJN St. James is trying to walk their way down uh, who will it be? the goalkeeper comes out, sends a hard kick up boots it beautifully and number 9 playing around with it and the goal, the goal the young lady scoring she has been playing good all season for her team <laughs> <laughs> Look at her celebration, <laughs> number 10, <laughs> very elated. She always plays on the defence but then she was able to move forward and get a proper shot on and the custodian had no idea about that ball. It was well placed. There is two goals to nil in favour of VOJN. I'm going to try this one time again goes off. These shots are shots you got to try and get on target. Yeah. Here we go, the big back for send for Vioja and send it over. The young lady passed it, allows it to go overhead and James was coming back with it and the other young lady takes a shot and is collected there by the goalkeeper. It came off of him and she tries again. Ooh, hits mm. the bar and it's time it's put in. Mm. It's put in. Offside. Oh, it seems as if it's an offside. Five. Number nine seems to be mm. okay. But he's been limping all afternoon. I don't know if he has a, he's carrying a slight injury. He was in an offside position for that. So it's two goals to nil. Vioja-N versus St. James's. Parishioners competing against each other. Neighbor neighborhood schools. Here we go. Number 10, hustling away. Pushes it over. Tries to go to the, the left for her female partner. But did not get through, it was brought back by St. James's, sent back up by VOJN. Now it's brought back by the big defence for the St. James's team. VOJN trying to come forward, St. James is a little man trying to get in between, number 10. Between St. three St. defenders there. It's going to be a throw in for St. James's. VOJN been dominating the play most Don't of the time. Next week, Tuesday is the starting of the semi-finals. Right. Yeah, number one is going to be throwing in. Well, and you'll have to pull your to. pocket. Put your hands and in your pocket. It's going to be a throwing again to St. James's. You're just pushing it out. you got 14 match days. Two of them you have to pay for. Semi-finals and the finals. So the semi-final starts next Trying week, Tuesday. Trying to get it down, St. James's. Gone back out again. It's going to be St. James's throw. Getting closer and closer to their, their goal. And they capitalize on it. Here we go. It's going to be St. James's throw in. Throw in. Throw in. And stuck here. Here is and trying mm -hmm. to get it out. And oh, missed kick. A good work by the goalkeeper. It came across it in his area keeper. and he threw himself down on it, sends it up beautifully. And um, number 10 is there, number 9, uh, looking for number 5. Uh, but it goes through to the goalkeeper. Custodian for St. James's picks it up. Little man sends out a kick. He's not as strong as he really should be. Comes off. going to be a throw in to VOJN. It's the end of the game. Yeah. So then VOJN comes away with a 2-0 win. Over. So neighboring schools competing strongly against each other. And they are hugging each other. They know each other fairly well. You know. And they come off. So it's like their first game this afternoon. Finished. Completed. Yojan coming away victors over St. James's. Two goals to nil. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Got it? Okay, man.
In two games this afternoon. On the eastern field, we have EPPS versus Mod Cross. And on the western field, we have St. Thomas's versus the Academy. It's going to be an interesting game below there on the western field. It's one above two, it will be quite interesting. So let's see what they will make of it. EVPS in our huddle and uh, captain for number 10 for the EVPS is up there to get the toin, coin toss. Waiting on the mod cross leader, he's tying his shoestrings. The wind is pretty strong so you're going to have to try and keep the ball as low as possible as we saw a lot of bounce balls, ear balls in the games before, especially on this eastern field, and it's not easy to control. If you don't take it down and allow it to bounce, it's gonna, you know, make circles around you. So EPPS is gonna go. Here's the cross. Cut it. He's trying to get shot in, but no left boot. Trying to the right side of the foot. There you go. Mod cross and silver. Very hard indeed. The keeper waits on it casually. Sends it up now. Yeah, mod cross. EPPS number 13. So trying to get it up to number 15. Number 15 spins, gets on it, sends it across in the middle, finds uh, number 10, back to number 13. And they need to ensure that they, they learn to use the left foot. He was tucking, 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 tucking. But it's an offside. An offside call. Tucking, tucking, tucking to come back onto his right foot when he was in a position to use the left foot. But they seem not to practice this left booter. I don't know why. Very few. And I see some girls kicking with their left foot. Looks good. It's a beauty to see that happening. Gonna be a kick out for Mod Cross. Yeah. This is your last game. Tell mommy this is your last game before you go high school. Sorry, sorry, gentlemen. I won't be angry. Here comes Mad Cross, sending it out. They're missing their big back today. And oh, almost giving it away, but it's kind of yielded in a corner kick, number 17, trying to head it back. And it would have been a danger for his custodian if anyone was there. And we're going to see a corner kick for Mad Cross at first for them. Corner. Yeah, St. Thomas says, let's see if they could score here. Here we go. And the eastern field. It's a corner for Mad Cross. Bad shot. Taking the kick. Yeah. ZK, yeah. number 22 on his back. Topok went out. Need to use your instep. That will help you to cross it properly. Mm. Yeah, the kick comes up, touches it out, and number 15 has it, sends it across, bad shot, did not get around it to call it in, so it goes, a begging as they would say, off, outside the left upright. It's going to be a kick off, goal kick for Mad Cross. 
They're playing against the EVPS team. So, EVPS based in St. John's, Mod Cross based in Charlestown, St. Paul's. Here it's coming forward, the big back, number 17, number 15 gets it, sends it back out, but the girl intercepts beautifully and um, for Mod Cross. And Mod Cross is coming away with it, number 15 tries to get in there, he's pretty sharp. Will he get it across this time? Sends it across. And it goes Davis out. Davis Academy versus St. Thomas. Uh, and a corner kick for EPPS. Trying to construct the play properly, building it up nicely. Everyone is up except the lone center back for EPPS. Bad, bad ball. Not a good cross at all for EPPS. So it's going to be a goal kick for Mod Cross. Press versus EPPS. EPPS versus Prep. Nice kick out. Who's going to be there? Comes off the chest of one of the defense there. And number 10. He tries to get it over, finds number 15, who is hustling forward, touches it nicely, uh, touches it on the outside of the foot, and sends it across. No one is there for EPPS to capitalize. Three, four men, and it passes between all of them. And here comes Mad Cars. Mad Cars coming. Mad Cars coming. Uh, first, Ooh. number three was coming forward, forced number 17 to push it out. Uh, he was moving pretty quick with some nice ball control. It's going to be. A corner kick for Mod Cross. Let's hope that they try corner. to get this one good. Let's see if Prep could make use of this corner. Put a little bit of pressure on EPPS here. Let's see what he will do with this one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Much better on his chin. A lone yeah. goal, an own oh, goal. Yeah. You don't face mm. your goalkeeper like that. Prep in the back of that early. <laughs> mm -hmm. You should be you in facing out. Mm. Should be in I facing out. The number 13 for EPPS, trying to bring it down, was facing his goalkeeper and only could end up pushing it past his goalkeeper mm. into their own goal. So it's an own goal. So EPPS, EPPS is going on themselves. So Mod Cross goes 1-0 up. Pressure. Yeah, bad positioning. Push it Seems back like St. Thomas has just scored. Mm. Yeah. Out. 1-0 up here. Yes, EPPS trying to make one a, good, a comeback. It's mm. out. It's out throw into Mod Cross. 1-0 uh, up, nice pressurized, nice pressurized goal, it's a throw in to EPPS, nice big long throw, number 12 it comes off his head, goes out, and so it's going to be a goal, a corner kick to the EPPS team, and there's a corner, almost messing it up there, EPPS defense at um, Mad Cross defense, EPPS had no one inside there to capitalize upon those misses. And they're trying to come forward, Mad Cross. I don't see, I, don't, I, I hope that is not a, <laughs> has to be a foul. Number two is going to try a left booter. Sends it across, it goes oh. in. Lovely shot indeed. Calm and cool. Whoa, one nil yeah. up here. So it's one mm. all. So it's one one. EP the equalizing just now was EPPS. Good shot. Nicely placed from a left booter. Number two. I don't see why these guys have to go back on their goalkeeper. I need to leave the space. Mm. 
Um, just missing the upright on the left. Yeah, the goalkeeper would not have gotten it. <laughs> Two defenses were back there to help him, but none of them were close to it. Oh, came off of a defense play, the, a player for EPPS. So it's going to be another corner. But, oh, these top hooks are not nice at all from the side. You need to use your instep. From in front, I could understand, but here goes ball for hard cross throwing. Going mud cross. Uh, trying to put pressure on top of the EPPS team. Yeah, little man from EPPS. Pass one, pass two. Went to number two. And here he is coming down here. Foul called against the mud cross team. It's going to be EPPS. They're going to go for a direct towards the goal. Nice shot. And number 15 cannot get it under control, does so now. Sends it back to number 8, number 5. Number 5 pushes over to number 10. Number 10 goes to the left, sends it in. And it's a side foot. The young lady collects it beautifully. Uh, well. Mm. Here, EPPS. It's gonna uh, free kick to EPPS. Outside of the box. Mm. Let's see if EPPS could make use of this free kick. The wall is in shambles. Need to get that wall settled up properly. Here we go. We've got stragglers behind there. EPPS got members on the outside now. Mm. Tried it again, but he went under so it too high. much. Number two. So he just went over the bar. Mm. So it's one all still. EPPS one. One one. Prep. EPPS. Modcast prep one. Yeah. There's a kick out and it goes straight through. Yeah, and being challenged there. So almost. Almost. Being pressured here by EP by Mod Cross. He got the rebound but it did not connect properly. He tried a shot one timer. But they're pressurizing EPPS. And they're running them hard. And here it go, again over the goal. <laughs> the coach and the, all the others are anxious. The misses that they have been making, not finishing at all. Yeah, he's coming over. No one is there. The little man is trying to challenge comes off and so it's going to be a throw into EPPS. They need to keep a man or two up what cars when they yeah. yeah, giving it over to number 15 but being challenged by the young man here yeah, number five and it's going to be mod cars throwing. Trying to come down the line. Pushed out by number 15. Now that's going to Mod Cross. Coming down the line. Trying to get over. Trying to get under it there. Here the big man trying to get around. 
and he's going, oh, came on the move. of his toe. No control, and so it goes out. So it's going to be a goal kick for EPPS. Here we go. Here they go. Number five getting in there again. Number three getting there. Trying to bring it down for mod cars. Here we go. Keep mounting over the players. So one one is the yeah. score here. Almost again. To one. One one is the score here. Go the far flank. See if the prep got a new star in the name of Rahul. Everybody's shouting, let's go Rahul. So I back in them too. Let's go Rahul. Here he goes. Nice ball over. Nice ball over. Look, should be looking for the rebound. Yes, nice ball. Yes, nice ball. Trying to get it. And it comes off. It's going to be a goal kick. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Corner here. You need to be up pressure in. St. Thomas's. AVPS. Sends it up on the right flank. Number 15 trying to get it, but challenged the way. The EVPS back. Number 12. They've been playing tight. Number 17 throws it in for EPPS. Trying to get through the defense there. Number two is going in. And a foul call is going to be against the EPPS team. So it's going to be a, a kick down. Free kick. Mad cross, but Rahul getting strict instructions, stay in the center. Yeah. Here we go. Number 10 in hustle, and number three, number eight, um, coming across, <laughs> sandwiching him, but it goes off. It's gonna be mad cross throwing. Here we go. Nice throwing, comes off the chest. Of the Don't forget, next week, choose the semi final start. So enjoy yourself today. If you does not have it under control. Then after that, right. you'll have to pull your pocket. And so it's going to be hard cross to the win. The wind is getting the better of them. If you don't take the ball down early, it's going to run away from you. Okay, looking to throw in. Looking for a man in the center. Headed out by number 17. And going to be Mad Cross throwing again. He throws the ball very well. Ah, that, was, that was not too bad. There's a free kick from outside, but both of them just in one another. Number 17 is going to kick it up for EPPS. Here he goes, nice hard booter, finds two of his men, and it's going to be half-time. Half one, one is the score, EPPS prep. Yeah, EPPS goes Seems like prep found a new striker, William of Wahoon. Well, Isles, young Isles here, has been playing really well all season. Um, she must be one of the players of the tournament. Certainly has played really well for her team, St. Thomas's Primary. And so as we join you here with St. Thomas is coming up against Nevis Academy, the score is two goals to nil yes, so at this point. Just about to get going. So the whistle goes, St. Thomas is with the kick. Passes up, looking for Isles on the right flank. Isles, a little handball there, definitely, but no whistle. Ref referee allowed the play to continue. Pushes it towards Isles. Isles doesn't get it. Um, defending stoutly there is Nevis Academy. Here's a little man rushing forward here. Here's a little man. Oh, he's been pushed away. Good work by the St. Thomas's defense. Um, going wider now is number 22. 
trying to push it in now. Where's the defense for Nevis Academy? Getting away with it just for the moment, but drives into it. Very controlled. Here's Isles on the right flank. Good work. Good defensive work there by number four. It looks like young Powell pushing it out and avoiding the rush through there by Isles. If a man goes on the field, they need to control them, the parents. It's going to be a corner kick. There's a corner kick. The ball has been knocked out, I think, by St. Thomas's. So it's going to be a goal kick. Academy is going towards the pavilion end. And St. Thomas's are going Saint towards Thomas's the bar hotel end. Academy. It's two goals to nil in favor of St. Thomas's. Here comes Isles. Looking to walk the ball, lovely, lovely, lovely. Beat one, beat two. And she's been cut off there by number 14. And number four. So it's going to be Academy's ball. Tussle between St. Thomas's and Academy, trying to get the ball down. And St. Thomas's won it, is moving over. Number 12, the big back, stops him. Number 5, he's going to take it to the win. Looking for someone, looks for number 14. Number 14 allows it to pass and sends it in. And oh, he sends it in. Number 22 touched it. He tried to come in to score it. It collided with a little one, and... Lights defense there for Prep. Prep defense holding up so far. Score he is one seemed one. to have gotten touch in his stomach. Because it's like number 15 is a very good Enjoy. team man. He always checks on his, his players if anything happens to them. You know? They both went up and apparently he got a knee in his stomach. Number four. He's okay. So, it's going to be, they're going to send it out. Number two for Academy. Send it over into the center looking for number 15. going to be number four who will take the throwing academy looking for someone here yeah. find number 15 and number 14 gets in from it for 10 thomas's number nine is there number 14 is very quick and he sends it out he sends it out to the right yeah. it's gonna be a, is it offside or is just a foul kick Quick here, St. Thomas's. Let's see if they come back. Keeper said one. Let's go. Keeper has to adjust himself. Keeper has not moved yet. He's are holding on to the, the near post. He needs to adjust himself. Let's hope he doesn't stay here. It's going to be a goal kick. That's a free kick to St. Thomas's, number 14. Keeper now adjusts himself. He's going to take the angle off the way. Okay? Almost. Almost. He, the keeper started moving to the left and it, it went out to the right. He called it, but it was off target. So the other teams are going to get themselves warmed up now. Last EPPS, that's EPPS. What's this thing here? A ball. And oh, it goes off. Um, Academy is here versus the St. Thomas's. St. Thomas's team. Looking to see if they could get a mm. consolation goal. A nice throwing. Yeah. Okay. 
If your pace goes up one. He scored earlier. It's on our own goal. From the EVPS. And then uh Mark cost equalized. Here is a throw in from the academy. And he's trying to push forward number 14 between two, three men. Let's put over to the left, number number nine is there. Being stubborn defensive player. Gets it over there now. And what is happening here? Good play in there by number four. Number four tries to send it through, didn't find the man straight. And number 15, number 15 is there. Oh! <laughs> Lovely play indeed. Try to walk it around his defense and he got tripped. So he's okay. He likes to put on his antics, get his attention. But he's okay, number 15. Very hard player. And will it be him or number 14? Who will take it? Okay. Let's see what will happen. Oh, it's a little too high. A little too high. Had the right idea, but just a little too high. Went over the bar. I was aiming for that far corner. St. Thomas's primary. There are two goals to nil over the academy, but the academy is not letting up. They are playing very good ball. They are pressurizing. We are into the second half. Here he is. goes out to his left flank and it misses it. So it goes to a throw in for the academy. We are on the western field. Okay, the academy is taking on St. Thomas's. St. Thomas's leads two goals to nil. And it's a throw into the academy. Here he goes. Comes off the chest of number 14. Number 15 is there. He's still trying. Number 15 is there. Number 9 is there. Number 8. <laughs> These guys are playing strong. Number 16, number 15, number 8. <laughs> They're small, but they're playing hard. Number 14 seemed to be favoring a little pain. He's, his knee is banded. Been played in an injury for a number of matches. And if you are injured and you're going to go into the flock, you're going to get tackled because he's one of the ace players. Now, it's going to be St. Thomas's kick. They've got three men up on the front. Number 14 is joining them, sends it through. Number 8 picks it down. Number 14 gets it for Academy. Sends it through, but to avail, no avail. Um, St. Thomas is defending and checks it back in. Then Thomas is number 14, brings it down, pulls it back, turns around and looking for someone. Defend, defend. Right. Will, he, will he go straight? Will he go? And he sends it, yes. Dribbles all the way in and touches it off the left foot into the goal. So it's three goals to nil. Oh. Yep. Good work. He held on to the ball. There were two men all in the second half here. With St. Thomas's three goals to nil in the St. Kitts Nevis Angola National Bank Primary School competition. And just now up at the, the EPPS. So here is St. Thomas's uh, blocking Thomas's ball from Nevis Academy. St. Thomas is pushing forward and going across the left flank. Passes two men, passes three men, and stopped there by number two. And it Last three games of the season. Throw in. Gonna be St. Thomas's throw in. 
but we're well, doing some good defensive work there. Yeah, St. Thomas is to the winning, and number four gets it, and he comes back, sends it out. There's no one there, and it comes off of the boot of the academy. So it's going to be a corner kick for St. Thomas's. Yeah, the ball comes across and who's going to get it? Number two, the Phantom uh, EP, uh, Academy, and we're to do it, number 23. The Phantom is in, send it down the right flank. But number four, getting in there. Number four, number 14, and it goes off from the St. Thomas's number 14. It's going to be number four for St. Thomas's. Um, that's the academy, but St. Thomas's gets the rebound. Number four again is back there, went back very quick. And finding number six though for, and that's a handball, but oh, the referee didn't see it. Uh, St. Thomas is still trying to fight. Here is, here is, oh, he's been blocked from going through. And he's running. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> it's going to be a kick for the academy. All right. Who will it be, 14 or 15? Right. <laughs> the linesman trying to explain to the referee what should go on, but the referee has made up his mind, indicated that it's going to be a, a penalty kick. So the conversation is over, it's referee ruling, and number 15 is going to take it for uh, the academy. What is it? They can go on the pole. Uh -huh. It's a free kick. We're just as close as it is for a penalty. Let's see what will happen. Right. Go to your left, brother. Can go to his left, he'll catch that goalie off guard. Go to your left, flat and low. Hard, low. Make sure you got men looking for the rebound. Nice collect there on the second attempt by the goalkeeper and the number four trying to hustle through. Tackled by number four of the academy, it goes off for throwing. It was a very good shot. But they weren't as alert as they should be for the rebound, which was the cry from the crowd. Parents um, look for the rebound. But it's going to be St. Thomas's. That's not a good throw. But if he allows it to go through, and it's St. Thomas's ball, no, it's going to be, it went out of the St. Thomas's attacker, so it's going to be a, a goal kick for the academy. 
three goals to nil. In favor of St. Thomas. Nice booter over. Number 15 of trying to bring it around to his person on the right. Did not get through. A nice coming through there. Number nine, number 14, trying to dribble past and sent out onto the right flank by number 12. And again, it's going to be. Substitution for the goalkeeping for St. Thomas's. And, and a player as well. Besides the goalkeeper, number four goes off. He's been playing pretty well, but they have been trying to give a number of players chances. And number 14 stopped it there. Number 12 is going up with him. Number 14 has it. Tries to find number 15. But then it's pushed out by the St. Thomas's. And they're still hustling to take it through. Number eight going across the left side. And it's going to go out. It's going to be a goal kick to the... Especially when they're up leading, most of the players will give them a chance to play. You know, when they're in a good position, they take... And here he goes. Number, uh, send it number two. Number 14 does it, touches it. And it's been pushed by number 23. Number 14 still sends it in. It's not as big a bigger touch. Number nine, oh, we shouldn't, did not get it right. And here they go, and it comes out. Oh. Yeah. Looks like AVPS like the scored above there. And here we go. Here is the Academy trying to go through. And they've been flanked. They've been flanked. <laughs> Sends it hard, sends it hard, sends it hard, sends it hard. Oh, bounces over past the right flank of the goal. The yeah, upright. But had it been on target, I think that goalkeeper would have been in trouble. He did not look comfortable at all. They have exchanged their custodian, giving the second one a chance. Oh, St. Thomas's. Yeah, here we go. And yes. It seems as if it's 3 2 above. And then Thomas is just trying to go forward here against Academy. Academy players are stubborn and their planes, they're small but they're stubborn. They're tough. And they are going to get the throw in. Need to send men forward, as is indicated there by the coach. Number two is going to give a big throw. We've got three, four men forward. Another one in the middle. There you go. Um, it's yeah, number two. Hard kick, but it's off target. So, it's three goals to nil here on the western beach. Here comes the goal kick. The goal Stodian is going to take it. For <laughs> the few strings are untied, so he's going to get some attention. Number 40, number 21. Tiny shoes looking to send it up. Gets it into the center. Uh, it's the end of the game. Three goals to nil. St. Thomas is over the academy. Uh, even though it's three goals, it was not one-sided. The academy put in their work. They did work, but they did not have the finish. Uh, guys are shaking hands. Uh, a gesture of sportsmanship. And they come forward. Stand up, stand up straight, it's okay. 
Congratulations as being player of the game today. I, I've been waiting for you. Jaron Hamilton and I thank my third coach, Chicky Hamilton. Okay. Or Chicky for short. I thank all, right. all of them. Thank you very much. Congrats. Congratulations to all my parents. I am so proud. And right now I'm very happy. So I'm about to do a backflip. All right, number 21. Good job. Mr. Finn 15, I've been admiring your playing all season long. Very aggressive, good, good ball control. How do you feel about your game today? I feel happy about I scored two goals. I feel proud of myself. And what's your name? Ranveer Singh. Mr. Singh, you got to tell your parents thanks and you got to call their names and your coach or coaches. I thank my coaches for learning me how, how to get the ball into the goal and thing. I, I love my a pro. I'm a parents are proud of me. Call the name of your parents and call the name of your coaches. Mr. Flip, Miss Leader, that my coaches, and my, my, my parents is Shell Singh and, and Go Passing. Wonderful. Congrats. Keep it up. Final game of the day in the St. Kitts Nevis Angola National Bank Primary School Competition for 2024. Patron is Mr. Boston and the program has been endorsed by Education, Sports and it's under the Grassroots Program for FIFA. And we want to thank all and sundry who have been supporting the youngsters in the development of their footballing skills. It's a final game for today. JLPS versus the Charleston Primary. It's supposed to be a humdinger. Here comes the lights. It's a bit cloudy but and windy. Nice conditions for football, cool. And JLPS is gonna go towards the pavilion end and Charlestown Primary is gonna go towards the bath hotel end. signal from both custodians referee waiting on his lines personnel there they go passes it back number 10 trying to come over with a, a hot shot and number 7 has been brought down by the CPS defense and here you go. It's gonna be the kick to JLPS. They're all they're gone up in their numbers. What will become of this? It goes in, comes off the body of a player and CSS. Yes, she has some primary hustling them off the ball. There we go. And there is number 19 there. They're marking him tightly. He's got three defenders on him. There is number eight trying to come in inside. Comes across to number three who sends a shot on. And the goalkeeper collects it. Oh, nicely positioned. And it's going to come this way. It's going to be a throw in. The 
before takes it for JLPS. Of the night. Wow. Bent out number seven. Hard kick. There we go. They're sending it forward not to no avail and try the shot. Number, number 10. Jocelyn for, for, for position still. There we go. Allow it to run. It should not have. Should have stopped it. Take it down. Now number 19, a little too hard for number 8. Gets it back. And the hustling came off the ball. It's going to be a corner kick for JLPS. And it's going to be JLPS corner kick. Waiting. Looks like he's gonna do a left booter. Sends it across nicely. And oh! Number 10 taps it and it goes over the bar. Number 19 was a little too high. Brought it down and the goalkeeper would have been in trouble. But it's gonna be a goal kick to Charles on primary. The big back is there, number 16. Sends it out. It comes off the boot of the JLPS player. And it's out. Number 10 trying to get it in, trying to string their passes together, but defending beautifully there is number 15 for JLPS. And it's still not settled yet. JLPS trying to hustle. The child's down and it goes off. It's going to be a throw into JLPS. Bit of a aggression in the game, a fast paced game. Both teams do have wonderful athletes. Been asked to take the ball back further for the throw in. Trying to steal some yardage there. <laughs> JLPS. Comes in, find number 16. Or if he didn't get it off where he would have wanted it. They're trying to hustle through. Push through. And what is happening there? It's taken off the foot of number 8. Number 8 is still there. And both of 8 and 19 colliding. And it comes off of the defense for Charlestown. So it's going to be a corner kick. Uh, for JLPS. Pressurizing early JLPS. You don't know which foot the man is going to use, referee. You leave it. He comes with a left booter in and oh, comes off of the defense of Charles on there pushing forward. Uh, pull back there by number 16, and here he is going. Handball, Charlestown kick, number two. Allows it to stay, he's gonna let the big back send it up. Here goes, it's a flat little ball, and he is coming forward, number eight. He's got a dribble, but he's getting it too far ahead of him. And number 19 is hustling, he doesn't get it. Uh, number 8 is pushing the ball too far ahead of him. He needs to keep it closer to himself. Uh, number 3 trying to bring it down. Uh, the bounce ball is giving them trouble as per usual. And plus you have the, the win. And they're still trying to bring it down and need to get it down. And here comes number 8 away with it. Send it through. Um, trying to find number 19. Number 3 is there. And it comes out of touch, it's going to be a throw into the JLPS team. A nice throw. And number four goes back to try and get it. And it seems as if the last touch was off of 
their peers, so they'll get a corner. Cry in the crowd, it's focus, heads up. Because I teach in this school and I have to come in too. I, I keep asking about how much will be charged. Goes across and comes out. Yeah. And yeah, number 19 goes, hustles it across. Yes. Oh. Just pushed off the ball there, number 8. Off balance. The beauty about it is that he should have had a left booter on. He tried to use the right foot. So he was off balance. And so he could not get the connection that he wanted to get. It's going to be Gerald Pierce is throwing. Comes by number eight again. Number 16 is trying to get it over. Charleston is there in its bungle. And it's going to be a kick to Charleston. Number seven. But they should not be going that far back. They're defending too far, defending too deep. Need to mark a man more. That's important. Now I see them trying to mark a man. Yeah. That is key. There is Charles Town trying to come forward. The ball has not settled. Here it goes. Here they go. And pushed off there by number four. He's still with it. And it comes off, so it's going to be Charles Town's throwing. I send it out in the center. Use your height. You're taller than them. He's not doing it. Number 19, send it over there. And no, does not get around it properly at all. Number 8, need to settle the ball down. And then you try the shot. It's going to be a throw in. Oh, that looks like a. <laughs> come off of the elbow there. But the goalkeeper allowed it to, this, the referee allowed it to go through. And it's coming across here. Charles down. Uh, it's going to be Jell Pierce's ball. Sent back out by Charles Town. You know, should have been an outside, but the flag dropped out of the goal. Goes into touch. Goalkeeper uses his foot. Um, but 19 tried to get a boot on it, didn't. And it was pushed out by the defense of Charles Stone Primer. So it's going to be a corner kick. To Jail Pierce. Flag drop. Sends them down left boot. Let's see what will happen. Sends it across properly and uh, comes off of the Charleston defense. Gingerland tried to bring it back in and yeah, it's going to be the LPS's ball. LPS throws in, sent back out by Charleston. Going to be Jell Pierce to throw in. Gets it into the centre. Uh, he comes around, touches it across. There's no one there. Charleston picks it up. And number seven is just as quick. Comes around number 16. Just tries a shot. And oh, had the goalkeeper gone. All oh, that saved him was that it hit the crossbar and bounced over. He was gone for all his money's worth. Nice ball by number 16, sending it back from the center area. Number 16, yeah, taking down there. Nice ball, nice ball. And he's trying to get it across then. Number 19, and uh, three, four players flanking him, was pushed out. And so it's going to be JLPS's 
Troy. Here they go. Tussling for it. Daniel Chelpia is getting it back down. Ball bouncing. Uh, short man number 19. Uh, taller players behind him try to get up but did not. Headed out here by the PLPS and thank you referee. You saw that one. Thank you very much. Happened right in front of your face. <laughs> it was a, a foul sent over by the big back for GLPS and number 19 is trying to get in there. Doesn't. Number trying to hustle it back. And the ball is still in GLPS here uh, trying to get it back up. And yeah, nice ball taken down on number six to number seven, and they're there still. The LPS getting better of it, and it goes out. It's gonna be a throw into Charleston this time, defending well. Here it goes Charleston, number two. It's gonna be a throw again, trying, it's gonna be throwing. Yeah, it's a foul throw. Uh, it's gonna be has been a good game thus far, no finishing yet. And uh, just the one goal almost. Yeah, where number 16 sent it through to the went over the goalkeeper, ended up and oh allowed it to pass him. And it's gonna be a throw in to JLPS and it hit the bar and went over. So, here we go. That's a high foot. Uh, thank you. Ref, we spot it. Linesman spot it. So it's going to go. Is it going to be a throw in or a, a foul? Throw in. Pushed out again by Charlestown. Back in their numbers. It goes hard throw out there. And that's a handball. That's a handball. That's a handball pressure causing the player. It's going to be Kel Pierce's ball. The crowd is into it. What will happen? Goalkeeper making sure that he can see. Let's see what he will choose to do. And it's a goal, almost, almost pushed out, pushed out by the goalkeeper. It went over the wall, which was a nice shot, and he came across and got a hand on it. And so it's going to be a corner for JLPS from the south side. That's the west side. We are on the western field. And so it's the north corner, northwestern corner. There you go, sends it across. And trying to get it out, Charlestown. Charles trying to get it in. A booter from JLPS. And cut off there by Charlestown. Number eight is off. Trying to hustle it forward. It's going to be a throw in to JLPS. Nice ball right across. Really get it. Ends it into the field. And here it goes. Number eight, not getting there. Um, a little bit slow off the mark. Here is the two Charleston players. Hustling and Gerald Pierce almost getting it goes through this time. Early, oh, had he gotten it, it would have been around the big man <laughs> who tumbled as he tried to get it out. It's gonna be a throw into Gerald Pierce. Over here is uh, Charlestown kicking out. It's gonna be a corner kick for Charlestown. That's our uh, Gerald Pierce. So the pressure is on Charlestown. Uh, Gerald Pierce has been playing well. I've been getting the better of the play, but no finishes. One near. 
finish came off the bar and went over. It had the goalkeeper gone all and sundry. What will happen this time? It's going to be that left booter again from the Eastern Pole. Comes across, flatter delivery. The goalkeeper is there, collects it nicely and sends it out. Yeah. And the ball going back. Should have the foul kick should have been given though. Not just the throwing. Kick the ball in his hand and it went out. But yeah, again the throwing anyhow. There we go. Ball is high and back. Out it comes again. It's gonna be Joel Pierce is throwing. Nil all. Here he goes. He's been flanked. He's been flanked. Forced. Forced. Number 19 missed it. Did not get it under control there. He's still there. He's hustling it. He's hustling it. And here they go. Yeah. Outside. Good call. <laughs> good call, good call, good call. Offside goal. Number eight got it, pushed it through, but that number 19 was offside. They had a, a goal kick coming out, offside kick. The number 19 is going forward again. Cutting in beautifully. And the big back gets his foot in, goes out. So it's going to be a corner kick to Joel Pierce. The pressure had been on, the build up was good, finish was good. But he was just a wee bit in front. Offside it was. They've been running circles around the big man. And he got his work cut out for him today. Sent it across. Who's there? Oh, under it too much. Should have been flat. Under it too much goes over the goal. So it's nil all still. I'm sure it's going to be a water break soon. Uh, it's going to be CSS, CPS ball. That's some fine one. Here we go. Uh, still looking at the... <laughs> oh, he missed it. He missed it, hustling across too much, missed it, he was very fast on it. And here number eight, ball colliding on him, he touches it, gets it, and it goes out. It's going to be a throw-in for Charleston Primary. But Charleston has, has not been able to get anything off yet. But the pressure has been put on by the JLPS team. It's, a, it's nil all still, and JLPS throw-in. Going towards the pavilion end. Here we go. Be a corner kick. National game. The Saint Kitts Nevis Angola National Bank sponsored primary school. Competition for 2024. Mr. Boston is the patron. And it's going to be kickoff for JLPS. They are going towards the Bath Hotel end. And here they're going through. And what will happen here? What will happen here? It's going to be, it's going to get a little physical, Curtis. <laughs> it's going to be JLPS's ball. What will happen? Okay. Free kick. Free kick. Put the score. The first time they had a free kick. When the target, the keeper stop it. Let's see what will happen now. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Nice work done by the JLPS team. Nice work. Anything to get the ball in and pushed out by the custodian there by the Charlton Primary. It's going to be a corner kick. Right. Will be the man who uses the left boot up. Sends it across and here again, here again, here's again, defending and then tussling out. Um, he pulls it back number eight, he gets it back number four and kicked out here by number ten and comes off of his chest. Number 10, symbol 16, the ball is bouncing, should take it down, number 7 boots it out to the left winger, number 3, um, does not control it, it, comes back, number 16, comes forward, pushes it past the defenders, number 2 pushes it out. It's going to be a throw into JLPS. Keeping on the pressure again. And here they go. And... If they're backing off of the beat and here. We're going to be a throw in. Charleston Primary. Next week, Tuesday, pull your post. Here he comes off the chest of Charlton Primary, put it over by a defence. Number 15 try to bring it down. Number 4 gets it, comes forward, comes off of the defence, the, the attacker. And it's going to be JLPS is throwing. Sub being made here by Charlestown. Number 15 pulls it around. Sends up, it goes off of the JLPS. It's going to be a throw into Charlestown. Number 11 throws it in, and number 4 for JLPS gets it. And oh, block there, but JLPS loses out. A throw in comes to Charlestown. Yeah, it pushed out. Charlestown, throw in again. And now they're trying to get it up. LPS coming forward. And there you go. And try to get it into his number eight. But um, defense for Charlestown was ever present. Stuck a boot out and got it out. So it's going to be a throw into. JLPS. Is it? You know, it's showing. Send it in. Who will it be? Send it across. Send it across. And he was trying to get it in. Uh, slide ball. Uh, number four. Been <laughs> pushed off of the ball. And <laughs> it's going to be Jell Pierce's ball. Kicks it hard. Nice touch out by the Jell Pierce team. Finishes it, gets it out on the left side. And they're uh, looking to go up. Charleston won it. Coming back in the attacking mode. Here goes JLPS, pushes it forward. And a big boy get it there. <laughs> it's going to be throwing to J Charleston Primary. Mm. 
here it comes. Comes away with it. Not getting it properly. Charles down. The ball goes and it runs out to the right side. The custodian allows it to go through. So it will be a uh, custodian is going to kick it up. Send it over. And we're, we're hustling. Hustling. It's outside it works. Outside the box. Yeah, it's gonna be number 19. Making sure that the wall is a distance away. We've got two men inside, two on the outside waiting for the rebound. What will number 19 do? Oh! Nice setup. Number eight getting under it and went a winner flight. All he had to do was to stay over it. It is going to be a goal kick for Charlestown primary. Sends it out. Gets it, pulls it over. And hard kick there from the defense for Gerald Pierce. It is Gerald Pierce is through. Come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh my. It's going to be a corner kick. <laughs> Don't forget, Friday, oh boy. The under 14 team Charleston will be playing at the Mundo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, Saturday as well, too. At four, the senior team will be playing the Spanish Seven Stellar, where I am yellow and I am Deflected off of the defense and went into the goal. A nice tapping, yes, but deflected off of the defense. So, just, uh, against the run of play, Charleston Primary has scored. And gone one goal up. Goes out. And here you go. Number 10 trying it again. Goes out. It's going to be a goal kick. But right in the grouping, uh, defender, the ball deflected off of his foot, passes goal on Astorian. So Charleston is 1 0 up. There we go. In the middle. Pushed out, defending well. Yeah, GLPS is missing the ball too much. They're not touching the ball properly in front of themselves, so they're ending up losing the ball more often than not. Going to be Charles Towns throwing. The foul throw. LPS throw in, comes over, take now my number eight, tries to come forward, this block. Number 16 tried to get it in, but it goes out. And so it's going to be Charles Town's ball. They throw in. They will 
Africa trying out and they're uh, looking to turn. Coming out. They need to dribble the ball past the man rather than try and get it over. And there is that's, that's gonna happen here now. It's been cut off and so it's gonna go out. It's gonna be a goal kick. Goal kick to Charles Charleston primary. Uh, one goal up, one goal to nil, Charleston Primary. The crowd doesn't seem to be as big as expected. And there we go. They're defending. Charleston still trying to go forward stoutly. And Gingerland defending. Okay. It's going to be a throw into Charleston Primary. Charleston throwing. Comes forward, one of the players. And he pushes it out. Be a throw in for Charlestown. That's still JLPS. It's pushed out by Charlestown, so it's going to be a goal kick. And it's Nevis Angola National Bank sponsored primary school competition 2024. Sends it up into the mid. Number 10 gets in there, finds number 9. He beats the man, but he's blocked. And it's going to be. That's right. Came off of the Charleston primary hand. There we go. Sends it up. We're looking for number eight. Not controlling the ball properly at all. He had been missing. He had been missing. He needs to get the ball under control. Gonna be Gingerland's ball, JLPS ball again. Let's see where they will position it. It's a flat ball. Charles on number nine is there. He's coming forward. He's pushing it to number 10, who's been blocked. And number four comes with it. And he's been pushed out. Uh, number 15, the defender for Charleston Primary, comes off of the, the Charles, defender for Charles, that's JLPS, and touch the attacker for Charleston Primary. It's going to be a goal kick out. Trying to put back on the pressure, Charles down on the gingerland. Yes, not a good ball at all. And tumbles over it as he pushes it out. It's going to be a throw into JLPS. How it run across him? Trying to go in hard and number nine pushed it through. Here, here, here goes number 19 and been pushed out by the small number four. For Charleston Primary. It's going to be a throw in for JLPS. There you go. It's going to be JLPS's ball again. Number four playing some stubborn defense there. Plays back, he comes forward, and he's a hustler, he gets in there. No, not at all. <laughs> and it's all just going on men, men of Charlestown, as the ball comes forward for a shot. Yeah. And here they go. Charles Pierce now trying to defend. Charleston looking to come forward. Uh, they had chances there, Gerald Pierce. They did not capitalize upon them. But here we go. He sends it up. <laughs> yes, he was in an offside position. Here we go. It will be Charleston. One in the field for Charleston. Mm. 
Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget this Friday. They're on the 14 Charleston. Boys will be playing. They'll be playing at the Monday track at 4. And then Saturday at 4. Yes, got to make a substitution. Number 9 seems to be a little bit hot. JLPS making a sub as well, two of them. On comes oh, kick out. Number seven comes on. Mm -hmm. Charles down through in. It's a troll, troll, troll. Charlestown throw in. Pushed out by JLPS. Number eight for Charlestown. And here comes forward. Number eight trying to get forward now. Using his speed. Number 19 is in his way. Number 19 should let him go through. Oh no. Number 19 should allow him to should have allowed him to go through. It's still with JLPS. And it's pushed out. Uh, what will it be a throw in or it's booted out by headed out by the Charlestown defense. So it's going to be a throw into JLPS. JLPS has made another change. Throw in. <laughs> The horns are going now. A while ago, you couldn't hear anybody. <laughs> now they have come to life. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> My goodness. How can one person make a big difference? A young lady just come on for Charlestown Primary. Number nine. The goalkeeper should have come for it though. It was pushed out. And what is it going to be? Go into Charlestown. Let's see. Trying to cross their goal. And the goalkeeper is there. Throwing himself down on it. Sent it out hard and high. Push it through. But he didn't get through the defense. We're looking for number 19. There was number 16. And it was still with JLPS. Charleston looking to defend. And it comes off of Charleston. Is it going to be a corner kick? It appears so. It's going to be Gingerland, Del JLPS, Dresden Liebert Primary. They had a couple of corners as well. Uh, what will happen this one? There's a female on for Charleston at the moment. It uh, goes out. Oh, he should have taken his time and sent that band across. It was lost to, Gel, to Charleston Primary. And Charleston Primary still. Moving forward with it, stopped by, uh, stopped, and comes forward now, JLPS, sends it up, no one on the left flank, number 19 is hustling out there, but um, the defence for Charleston is there, uh, hello, yes, <laughs> try a thing, put down his hand to pull it back in for himself, Cordis, <laughs> oh my Smart one. <laughs> he was bending over and he pulled the ball back. 
Will they make use of it? And card out again. Defended out nicely. It's going to be a throw into their P JLPS. Yeah. And here we go. Try to go forward himself alone, but he's defended up. Here another Charleston coming through now, three of them. And who will it be? He tried a shot, a weak one it was, number seven. It goes up the LPS. Oh, it's Charleston's ball. Yeah, yeah and so the game goes. <laughs> the, the, the crowd for Charleston seems to be very small this afternoon, Curtis, quite surprisingly. And they were hush, 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 hush until they got that goal and now they're celebrating. <laughs> so Charleston went away with the, this game, one goal to nil. Nice pressurized game. Finishing was not there for JLPS. And that's the score at the end of the final game here today. The St. Kitts Nevis Angola National Bank Primary School competition. The Charleston Primary School coming over it 1 0.